have arrived on the site like I said we did the prep and uh, all that kind of groundwork and I actually think I forgot to turn on the uh, sound so I'm curious as to the quality of the audio on the way here but we'll see task specialist is doing his rounds it is 13.5 below here so actually it's about half the temperature of up there It is cold! Oh, it is glove time! My sheepskin gloves or goatskin or whatever it is. Alright, let's do the checks. One, two, that's good, that's good, that's good. Everything's all right. Perfect. Start the flight timer. Okay, we have, uh, I think it's six lifts. Some compressor, some steel, uh, a little box of things, and many goodies. All right, thumbs up. Okay, we just took the 30 meter line. There's some high trees here. We need more clearance. Let's see how that goes. 30 meters is 100 feet of long line. Gotta watch the trees. Okay, let's take up the slack. 30 is, I think 30 or 100 feet is a more common in the US length to fly with. Uh, here in Norway we use a lot of 15 so I'm not sure if you Americans out there will be more uh, kind of recognizing this length we'll see um, let's see here now there's some high trees on the site like I said so we're gonna extend the, our normal extension from 15 to, to 30 to get more clearance so we don't have to worry about smacking the, uh, the blades into some kind of trees or uh, uh, the tail rotor or something like that because I went there and had a look and it was it was looking kind of uh, kind of uh, close if you know what I mean uh, and I also had some problems actually finding the guy that was really hard to uh, to see where he was now I'm having that same problem all over again a dive on now Herregud, det er altså problemet med å finne en sted, at det er jo fløyt. Ok, jeg har funnet ham. Det var embarrassing. Super, super embarrassing. Okay, let's hope the next one goes better. Uh, I tror I ser at det slår inn på radioen nå, Stian, men jeg hører ingenting. Så uh, det er spørst om det er noe greier. Ja, der hørte jeg det litt igjen. Nei, fy faen, dere var fløyt, ass. Oh. Okay, enough of that. Um, that was hard. Um, he's kind of tucked there in the, into into the tight woods, and 
I was having super problems finding him. Um, so that's kind of how it goes sometimes. Now let's see if I can get this to the old monster guy. Yep, he got it. Next, next up is the compressor. Uh, hopefully now I can deliver that one. This one is 750 kilos. Let's take up the load. Um, let's see here what we can do with this thing. 650 on the hook. Yeah, it's coming off the ground at 760 kilos. Check the power. And it's coming uh, 830 kilos. So let's just lift this one nice and slow. Give the helicopter time to work. Um, thinking about some safe forced landing areas on the right side. Should anything happen? So the thing is, I was looking in the wrong place, and uh, obviously that doesn't help. But it was actually on the other side of that little gorge there, uh, so I got that wrong. But now I can see it in the trees, where the trees has uh, been uh, cleared of snow. So this next one shouldn't be as embarrassing as the first. <laughs> oh boy. So 780 kilos, 790, that's where the weight has stabilized, uh, which is uh, super well within limits at 45% fuel. I'm gonna tuck it into the trees. I'm uh, curious to see what the GoPro footage shows afterwards, how easy or hard it is to see in terms of uh, the visibility, but we'll see. I'm fighting some wind. Let's see here, nice and slow, nice and steady. Keep that cool, light tension on the controls to avoid the death grip. Okay, so he's got a hold of it, he's pointing backwards. Gonna see if I can't help him out with that. A little bit unsteady. Yeah, that's very, very sloped. Okay, you want to go down. Okay, copy that. Oh yeah, there's a little rock formation thing. But this place they chose is very, very sloped and whatnot. It looks like he's giving the signal to go down. I will see what he does now. Yep, he's giving the signal to go up, the sling is released, and I'm very glad I have the 30 meters. Because the trees are very, very tall, and it's a slope, uh, so you need to very carefully consider your clearance to your stuff around you, so that you do not smack your tail rotor, main rotor, or any other part of the helicopter into some kind of trees. Which can happen uh, if you're not cautious. And that's going to turn into a bad day at work, so let's not make that happen, guys. Okay, load number three is a crate full of goodies. You can't tell when it hasn't been uh, flying with the 30 meter line for a while. Like, it's, um, its reaction to your inputs is much slower. Uh, that's right in the hand. Uh, so you have to take your time more. 
but that's just uh, that's just the joy of it. This is actually not a crate. This is a diesel tank, which is coming off the ground at 560 kilos. Checking power and lifting. Now down here, when where I'm lifting from, it doesn't really seem to be any kind of wind from any specific direction. However, up here though, there was a little bit 